All right, let's check out the Manta Ray SRPE33 Seiko Samurai Save the Ocean. Now you can call it the Manta Samurai. That's probably what's going to stick. It's the simplest. Some people are calling it the King Samurai, but it's not. These two are the King Samurais because they got the waffle dial. But anyways, you can call it King Manta. So those are the nicknames for this one. We kind of got a little bit of a rocket occurring. Very cool. Now, why is this watch stunning? Because look at that dial. That's why you guys are here. I think my thumbnail is just going to be the dial. It's just so amazing. It is unreal. It's kind of Fume dial. Changes from faded black to blue. And I guess you could say Gilosh, but it's not really Gilosh where it has like a fixed geometrical pattern like this watch, my Zelos uh, Mako V3. This one, you can kind of see waves. I'm going to show some macros. It's a little bit asymmetrical. Looks like the water glistening it is unbelievably stunning. I love it. Let's check out the measurements. We got 48.7 lug to lug, 43.8 diameter, and 12.8 thickness. All right, guys. So very nice wearable size, a little bit big. We're gonna see it on my wrist, 6.5 inch wrist later. Um, let's check the case back. Is this a special edition? Let me see if I can zoom in. Um, yep, right there, special edition. I'm not gonna take the stickers off because this is lent into the channel. So special edition right at the top there around 12 o'clock under the Hukusai wave. And the bracelet, since we're here, <laughs> stamped, terrible, not a fan, but has that nice Seiko sound. <laughs> awesome. Not really a fan of these um, flip overs anymore, getting spoiled by these amazing non flip over ones. And I got my Oris, same thing. So we got solid links, pin and collar system, solid and links. Very nice. Drilled lugs. Very nice. So all those are nice, but the bracelet, not the greatest and doesn't fit exactly well. You see that? Some people are saying the K-shape is slightly different from the old Samurai. Micro differences that is causing this. I don't know. I don't have an old Samurai, but apparently that's what it is. Who knows? Anyone can confirm, put in the comments. Bracelet is not the greatest. Anyways, I would wear it on a rubber strap. This thing looks killer on, on a strap because it really accentuates uh, these sharp samurai beautiful lugs. Damn, excellent. So we have uh, the sapphire crystal. Gone is the hardlex. Now the cyclops, uh, I'm a fan of it. It's fine. I don't like the big chocolate bar one on the new monsters and the turtles. That I would rip off instantly. This one, I'm okay with. I like it. It does a job well. So it has anti-reflective coating. Nice upgrade. And the bezel insert is ceramic. Glossy black. Beautiful. Let's see if it lines up. Beautiful bezel sound and action. Stiff, but not too stiff. Very reassuring. Kind of lines up. That's a bit off, I guess. Mm, yeah. All right. Uh, not too bad, but yeah. The crown, a little grainy. Just unscrewing it right now, I could feel the grain, which is terrible. All right. Date change starting now. Boom, perfect, we got the rocket ship. Now, when I screw it in, let's try to backspin it. Where is it? It's not going in. Let me zoom out. There we go. So now when I'm screwing it in, it's very grainy. Feels awful. 
This is like some of the mod uh, cases you get. That's me screwing the crown. So it's metal on metal. And I'm not pushing in. I'm screwing in very lightly. I'm letting it guide itself. It's just terrible finishing on that crown. Uh, the machining needs to be cleaned up. You can take a piece of floss and open it up to the maximum and start cleaning those teeth of the crown and it will help a lot. So come on Seiko, <laughs> we need better bracelets. We need better crown machining and a little bit better alignment, please. Now this one has the 4R, 35 movement, 24 joules, 21, six VPH, three Hertz, um, 40 hour power reserve. Some people might be upset. They didn't put the 6R35, but guys, I'm here to tell you the 6R35 isn't that great. And I'll let you know why, because first of all, you put you, okay. We're watch enthusiasts, right guys? So we have tons of watches. We wear our save the ocean Manta. We wear it for a couple days. We want to try something else. We want to put on the Zelos. We put this down in the watch box. Two and a half days later, you, you have a craving for that beautiful dial. You grab it. And now it's two to three minutes fast all of a sudden. Why is it two to three minutes fast? I don't know. All right. No, I do know. Because of the power reserve, it is so long. And when it's that long and it gets to like 15 hours left, 10 hours left, five hours left, it hyper speeds up the turbo boost kicks in and then you really get it you really lose accuracy it happens to every mechanical watch it is something in physics there is an explanation for it so when it's winding down it speeds up dramatically and then slows down dramatically at the very end so it has that teeter effect and that effect is pronounced in the 6R so when you pick up your watch and it's three minutes fast, you're going to have to go backwards. I don't like to go backwards on the gears. Not good. It even says it somewhere in the manual, I think. So I rather it die on the second day at 40 hours. And then I pick it up and I set the watch forward. Just my opinion. 6R15 is better at 50 hours, I think. But that is just my limited experience with three 6R35s. Maybe it will get better as it breaks in. Maybe it won't let me let me know guys if you have a 6R35 and you have been experiencing the same ultra turbo power boost and speed up of your watches. All right. <laughs> okay, so let's compare with the SKX. We got it. We got it. We got it. All right, here it is. And guys, let me know if you notice anything different. I have a new setup today. This is the first time and it's a lot tougher for me to film. So I'm going to be off until I get used to it. There it is. So this is the blue lagoon, the old legendary blue dial. I guess this one's the new king. Unreal. <laughs> wow. Beautiful. Which one do you guys like? Of course, if you're here, you're 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 checking out the Manta. I called it Manta on the on the intro anyways we're gonna do the weight this thing is a heavy beast zero degrees i mean <laughs> zero weight oh my god so 205 that's heavy a bit too heavy for me not a fan of the weight but i wouldn't wear it on the bracelet anyways i would wear it on a nice rubber strap let's do the wrist shot real quick 6.5 inch wrist I'm not going to size it. It's not mine, but there it is looking amazing. Damn that dial guys. <laughs> oh man. It's just damn it. Now it's too big for me. So I wouldn't wear a samurai, but I would gut this watch and take that dial and put it in, I guess an SKX case, three o'clock case from crystal times. Very nice. Where's good. I can pull it off. 100% I can pull it off as long as it's not 50 
uh, lug to lug, 50 millimeters, I can pull it off. So it's fine. And it looks bigger on camera. I'm looking around the camera. It looks much better. I'm trying to give you guys the perspective. Uh, okay, I can't reach. All right. So there's the wrist shot. Let's do the time grapher. Okay, we're back, and I uh, hope you enjoyed those macros. Let's mute it. We gotta go to 53 for the Seikos. Let's go. Ooh, looking a little erratic, but all zeros, so Looks like it is struggling to get a reading. Maybe the case is too thick. All right, so plus 57, <laughs> plus 22. Okay, so very erratic, negative seven. <laughs> Interesting. See all those sprinkles? You don't want that. You want a solid line, like more like an ETA or a Myota. Okay, minus seven, not bad. Staying with minus seven two times in a row. Another minus seven, plus 12. So re remember guys, this is a new movement. And uh, minus 17, I believe it is full, plus seven. Let me give it another 100 wines and I'll be back. All right, we're back. Gave it another 100 wines. The amplitude is really strong now, 300. Beat error 1.1. Okay, that was why. It wasn't reading the beat error before. That is why there is that gap. That's the beat error. One millisecond, every beat. Two, 299, so strong amplitude, plus six. Beat error is high. I would fix that. I don't like that. You gotta be at 0 0.1, so. But it's pretty accurate at plus six, and yeah, that's it. It's a typical Seiko movement. Definitely needs regulating after one month, but there we go. <laughs> I'm, I'm really thinking, oops, I'm not even wearing it. Oops, there it is. I'm really thinking <laughs> this is a better watch. Cheaper by $100. No crown um, grindiness. Bezel lines up. Uh, I don't know. Better bracelet. Ten times better bracelet, actually. Anyways. It is what it is. Let's check out the loom. This time, it's going to be a stunner. See if we can get it. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> It is a torch as usual. Let's compare it to, <clears throat> let's compare it to the Zellos. There you go. And the SKX. Wow, so super bright, unbelievable. Good job Seiko. As usual, the Lumabrite is killer. All right, so this is the Manta. I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, check out Kavar Jewelers' website link down below. And thanks for lending this one in. I enjoyed seeing it, and I enjoyed checking it out. So please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.